I cannot think of anything that would make me stop working for change until every girl is free from the threat of female genital mutilation and child marriage. Swingish guests, dear nice Lengete, it's an honor and a great pleasure for me to hand you this prize and title here today, the Freedom of Wands Award. Because brave people like you, inspiring women like you, are so important to make this world of us a much better place, which sounds, of course, very cliche and common. Uh, but every change ever made in the world in the direction of development, freedom, equal rights is made by someone who said, you know what, I don't care, I'm going to do it different than all those people that are surrounding me. I am not letting them drive me crazy with their irrational and painful rules that keep girls and women from a lot of good things, from becoming their true self in freedom and to take away their many dreams. You were brave enough to fight against traditions that went on and on and on for centuries, generation after generation. Girls were circumcised in Kenya. A terrible and very painful cultural operation that no girl in the world wants to experience and that keep them from the simple joys of life. They were also kept away from the right of education until you stood up. You said, I don't agree with this. I want to make a difference. I think I can break this chain called tradition or religion or culture or doesn't matter how you call it. You, dear nice, are one of those very rare women that can be called a true hero. A lot of women and people are thankful for your work. I hope you realize that and I hope you enjoy your prize. Thank you. Thank you so much. I feel so honored to receive this award from Freedom of Want. Your Majesty, Your Royal Highness, Prime Minister, Roosevelt Foundation, and my fellow ambassadors, change makers, ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to accept this award. I am proud and I'm humbled to accompany the previous award winners, people who have shape the course of the world. People like our very own Nelson Mandela, his words will forever live with me and they inspire me every day and I quote, it is in your hands to make a better world for all who live in it. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. A winner is a dreamer who never gives up. I am a dreamer and a doer. And I will never give up trying to make change for the place or for a better world for girls and women around Kenya and Mali, the Maasai community that I come from. They want to escape the cut, just like I had escaped the cut. I will never cease to give more girls an education, just like I got an education. I want to dedicate this award to them, to the girls and to the Maasai community where they are seeing change happen every day. Where el elders have started to listen, to trust, and to embrace the ideas that the cut can be a thing of the past. And to the girls who, are, who have started to believe that they have the same right of freedom as boys, and as you and me. I dedicate it to my family, 
my parents, my sister, my granddad, my mom who, and dad who raised me to become the nice, who strive for education, who dared to dream big. My sister who sacrificed herself so I, I could escape the cut. My grandfather, I call him Baboon, who is an elder who believed in me and became an ally in making change towards attitudes and making change happen to so many other girls all over Kenya. And to Amre flying doctors and private donors who supported me in my dream of building a nice place, a safe haven for girls, where we give girls a safe space to dream, to learn, and to live their lives. My goal, together with AMREF and the communities, is to bring female genital mutilation to an end by 2030. We have already saved over 20,000 girls in Kenya through the alternative rites of passage, but there is still more to be done. Let me give you a few statistics. Every year, 12 million girls before the age of 18, that's every girl every minute, More than 100 girls, sorry, every year 12 million girls marry before the age of 18, that's 28 girls every minute. More than 100 girls under the age of 18 will be married during this speech act acceptance and thousands during this event. Four million girls, again globally, are still threatened by female genital mutilation every year. And right now, we are seeing millions of girls drop out of school due to COVID-19 pandemic, poverty, and war. All these is interconnected. All these are cuts of dreams and ambitions for our girls. Cuts on the human rights. Cuts on their health rights. Cuts on their right to education. Cuts on their right to a life free from fear, free from want. It takes a, a village and a global village like this one to make the needed change. It takes patience, time, investments, and dreamers and doers. These awards stimulate me and all of us to be dreamers who never give up and to work even harder to make change all over Africa and beyond. By investing in girls, by giving them a voice and leaving them unharmed, they will become women of their dreams and the world will be a better place for all of us. Thank you for recognizing that with this award, and let's dream on. Thank you so much, everyone.